to have. Run straight into the creek. No cap. All right. All right, corner up. Oh. Uh. Would you all rather have the sugar-free Red Bull or the sugar one? I'm not gonna put his clips in anymore. He's not gonna be in the video. Sugar is bad for you, bro. Sugar makes you feel bad. It's inflammatory. I don't be drinking it as much as I don't have to. Yeah. But like, I've heard very bad things about aspartame. I really. No, I did my research, bro. I did it. It's not actually that bad. I'm serious. If you guys remember from a couple months ago, there's a new skate park being built real close to me yeah i'm gonna give you guys a little update on it so it's been done for like two months and it's still got barbed wire fence and cameras all around it it's even got light before katoctin and it's not even open so annoying yeah i'll give you guys a little run through of it so yeah we got little three stairs with hubba's flat bar I think this right here is a six stair with the smallest little handrail ever and then a four stair with the smallest little handrail. Yeah, that's basically it. It's been done for a while. Still can't skate it. Very annoying. 
Yeah. Even the lights look like they're like LED, like high quality. Who knows, by the time they finally open this park, I might just have finally moved across the country. So, we'll see. All right, in this video, I'm gonna be talking about my experiences with big and small wheels for street skating. So right off the bat, for the past like eight years, I've pretty much been riding size 52, Spitfire, Formula 4 conical shape wheels, sometimes the regular shape wheels. And it was about two months ago I decided that I wanna try some bigger wheels. Cause I see some people like Nathan Co, AKA BevUp, he rides size 56 wheels. These right here are the 55s. I rode them for about two months. And I noticed ever since I put them on, I just couldn't get used to them. So that's why right here I got some new 52s. And you might not be thinking that three millimeters makes that big of a difference cause it's so small in like the real world, but in skateboard wheels that makes a massive difference. So the biggest problem that I had with the big wheels is I was missing lock-ins on grinds. And if you think about this in like an over-exaggerated sense, crooked grind was a big one when I was having trouble with the big wheels. If you think about a board trying to lock in, hold up, I'll actually get a fingerboard to try to demonstrate this. So if you think about here's a ledge and here's a board with normal, like whatever wheels. So, when you come up to Crooked Grind, you have to clear this wheel and get over there so that you can actually pinch, right? Let's say we completely over-exaggerate it and put on like a normal wheel. Uh, that's way bigger of a difference than you would see in the real world, obviously, but just having a little bit of extra height to the wheel means you have to pop higher and you have to pinch harder to get into the right location to get that pinch. Otherwise, with the small wheel, you can get away with popping a little lower. And the problem that I was having a lot is I would pop, land on the wheel, sort of go back out and then get into this little no slide. And I thought that was gonna be a problem that lasted for like a day or two before I got used to it. And I did sort of get used to it, but my crooked grinds were just, they weren't the same that they used to be. Same thing happened with my feeble too. On feeble grinds a lot of the time because of that height difference, I was going and locking in on the around the kingpin, which would not allow me to slide. I couldn't really get into that sweet spot right there like as easily. Those were my two biggest complaints with the big wheels, but they did have their pros, meaning that I, I was able to go faster and street skating was a little easier to do fast. That was only really the real pro. Uh, for small wheels, I just have way more consistency on all my ledge tricks. Locking in is easier. Big wheels, I actually, I noticed that when I did lock in, they would stay in place better because there's more room to keep it in place. Since I wasn't able to lock in as consistently, that pro was sort of taken away from me. So yeah, those are mainly the big differences between a smaller and a bigger wheel in street skating. Here's another thing you also have to think about is both of these wheel shapes are conical. Conicals are fatter so that definitely made it a bit harder on this 55 versus if a normal shape like curved 55. The curved 55 probably would have been feeling a lot better for me because uh, conical shape makes it skate like a bigger wheel and a smaller size. That straight edge design probably was making it harder than it should have been. I'm sure if the shape was more curved, definitely would have been easier to lock in and I probably would have had all the pros of a big wheel minus those cons that. So yeah, if you're, if you're on those 52s now thinking about getting some bigger wheel, keep in mind that you may run into some of those problems uh, regardless of how good people like BevUp can skate big wheels. It's all personal taste. Some people can do it, I couldn't really do it, and I didn't think the pros were worth it. Another thing to keep in mind is that the smaller wheel will get eventually too small much quicker than a bigger wheel so if you i'm sure a 53 or 54 might be a decent size but a 52 that's like the perfect size for me and as soon as it starts going into that 40 millimeter range it starts getting too small for me and when it gets too small it's slow and it locks out of grinds easier because there's just less holding it in so a bigger wheel will definitely last longer and keep its lock and its speed a lot longer. But I think a smaller wheel has a very good beginning and then a quicker deterioration. So yeah.
All right, I hope you guys like this video. Make sure you come back for next week on the next one. Subscribe, follow the Instagram, like the video. Apparently, liking the video is like good for the algorithm these days. See you guys next week. Peace out, mates.